Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about something that I've been thinking about for a long time. And that is, who decided what we should eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I love breakfast. I can eat breakfast anytime, anytime, day or night. I really love pancakes. My favorite meal. I love pancakes. So I wanted to know, when you go to any restaurant, they give you a breakfast menu, when you go at a certain time, a lunch menu, and they give you a dinner menu. But I wanted to know how did that start? Who was in charge of, or who's to say that what we should eat and when we should eat it? When did this happen? How did this happen? And so on and so on. So I went to a source that has all the answers and never lies. That's right, people. The internet! So I said, internet, can you please tell me the answer to my question? Can you help me solve this problem? So when I have the answer, I can share it with the world. With you. Yes. I wanted to share it with you. You know what the internet told me? The internet said, uh, I don't know, dude. You're on your own. I said, what? 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 But you have all the answers. All this information. Why can't you tell me who decided what we should eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? How did this start? How did this whole breakfast, lunch, and dinner concept start and everything? Why can't you tell me? I said, oh, that's just too far back. We don't, we don't have no records for that. So I said, oh, well. So I cannot share what the internet told me, so I'm going to make up something myself. Hopefully I'm somewhat on track. If not... Maybe you can come up with your own story and tell me what you think. So here's my theory on how this breakfast, lunch, and dinner thing started. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, there was a king. Right? And everybody in, the, in, that, in that little village ate whatever they want, whenever they wanted. Because they were happy. But the king had a sensitive stomach. He couldn't eat anything anytime he wanted to. Not just anytime he wanted to. Something was just too much for him at a certain time. So he went to his cooks and he said, Hey, hey, hey. I want a meal that I can eat in the morning. That won't make my stomach feel all weird. Cooks got all scared because they had to make something good. Because then they'll get killed. Their heads get chopped off. Can't have that. So they made him a nice meal for breakfast. For They called it breakfast at the time. For, for the morning. And they gave it to the servant king. And he was happy. He said, I want another one for the afternoon. And so, if it came with something else, he ate that too. And they were, and he was happy. And then when the, when the nighttime came, late supper, boom, happy again. And after a while, they gave him the same meals all the time. After a while, the king got sick and tired of that. So he said, keep creating new meals for, for the morning, new meals for the afternoon, and new meals for the evening. And since the king loved these meals so much and it made him feel good, he changed it so everybody had to eat that way. Everyone had to eat that way in this village. And then after a while, it started to spread out to different countries and spread out to the world. And now today, we go to a restaurant, they give you a breakfast menu, a lunch menu, or a dinner menu. And that's how it happened. Now, is that true? Most likely, no. God just made it up. But, what can you do? The internet let me down. So... There you go. So if you have a story on how Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner got created, tell me your story. If you know the truth, that would be even better. But until then, that's all I got. That's all I have. So peace out, everybody. And a bumblebee tuna. I'm out!